Hello and welcome, my friends. It's time, uh, yeah, for us to probably get our ass kicked against uh, yeah, the Gen Gers. I mean, I see the draft. I'm already like, hi. Uh, uh, what is this? My day has not been good, so uh, I don't expect suddenly T1 to uh, beat the 13 and 0 streak. Uh, yeah. At least positive, like Zeri is not the AD carry, but it's also not ruler anymore on Gen G. Like, uh, I don't know, man. They have Cassante, Zeri. The bot lane is like Omega scaling. Canyon is like on his prime. Oh, good luck, good luck for us. Uh, yeah, Canyon ha literally has a Nidalee skin. Hiya. We are so fucked. Uh, we're losing the Callista Nautilus lane early. Uh, against the Omega scaling lane and sure Canyon was there right now, but it's like that doesn't fucking matter, right? They we were already getting pushed in uh, Yeah, I mean it seems like Faker is at least going even which like okay, we take that This is Deus by the way. He ulted uh, the hands there, but you can't even chase that because afterwards You know you will die right if you even have enough damage Guma forced to ult in their 2v1 Canyon will cancel the recall are we going to die for Kisante? Well, Merry fucking Christmas. Hopefully, uh, no. Zeus just going. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's about first, uh, first blood turret, right? Uh. 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 Quick check. Zeus still alive. He has used his flash. Still alive. Uh, not alive anymore. We got the first blood though. Let's go. Yeah. No, watch out, Guma. Yeah. Uh, this matchup, I don't know. We already uh, talked about, like, Kalista versus, uh, what's her name again? Senna. So often, it's just, it's just not good. It's just not good. And the Orn is, I mean, it's not even the worst uh, support for uh, for Kalista's POV. But, uh, yeah, let's just see. I mean, Lehens here will not even die high. Yeah, can we get the Kisante? We take that one. Okay, positive thinking. We're even in gold against the scaling comp. Carrier is not dead yet. Hey, we take those. We take those. Uh, what? Carrier, bro? Okay, Con it shows confidence. Shows confidence. Uh, so, I mean, side lane, we're going to win. Uh, we have, like, better poke, you could argue, to some extent. Uh, I mean, that's pretty illegal by Keen. Should be able to get that one, yeah, very nice. I don't know why owner is playing, uh, what's her name again, Dear, what's the, something with L, Lilia? Lilia, I think. Whatever, man. There are too many champions, too many names to remember. I don't know, my brain is fucking fried after 10 hours of work. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> we at least secure the dragon. I don't know how, like, I mean, I guess the idea is that she is also a power farmer, AP jungler or something like that. Okay, so again, gold lead, about even. We have a kill lead. The what? I mean, maybe that's something we can like play into. But Faker is not here, and I think Faker has two of the kills. Okay, he TP's in, but Faker TPing in. Is that what we want? I mean, it looks like we're going to get another kill. Okay, at at, at what point do we start believing? I don't think there is a point, honestly. Uh, due to the fact that, yeah. What the fuck was that, Guma? Right? Uh... <sighs> okay, let's see. Okay, flash all everything into... That should be a dead uh, Zeri. Guma is jumping. G Guma is still jumping. Does he have carrier in his ball? No, no, carrier is all the way over there. We also get a knock. Wait, ow, no, no, no. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. We're not going to jinx it, right? I remember the series versus Hangwa Life. No, I, I don't think it was the most recent one, but uh, one of them. They were back to back, kinda anyway. And we were winning most of the time. Till we were not. So uh, I'll I'll hold my horses. They have double smite here with Spellbook, but Rent this time works, right? We had some issues with Rent in the last series. But so far it works. We have, like, we should have better side lanes, unless, like, Zeri versus. Uh, What's his name? Mordekaiser. And even then, I, I mean, depending on items, maybe it's not too bad. Um, what is it? Three items to two? Yeah, um, who knows? Guma doesn't have... 
Wait, Flash has come back up. He has forced to Flash anyway. Let's see, they're engaged. We are all te teleporting in. Jovi is in the zone. Now let's see this 1v1. Yeah, as expected, it's not working all too... Oh my god! At least Faker on the side is getting a kill. But is that worth it, bro? You need to be on the main fight. Actually, what happened to the main fight? Oh, he fails the Valkyrie as well. I mean, owner is still around and he will do some decent damage, but... Faker, hello, can you come over? Hello, Faker! What train are you taking? Is it fucking Deutsche Mann or what? Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, one kill. Now, Faker, please clean up the fight. Okay, auto attack goes over, doesn't crit. Faker, come on, has the vision owner. Maybe a ball? Four, three, two... What? La longest auto attack in the world, man. Senna didn't see that one coming. Somehow we still win the fight. Uh, what is it? F four for three, something like that. But I, yeah, 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 yeah. Faker looking uh, rough there. Oh, no, no, no. TP flanks, maybe? Actually, doesn't need it to be. A Lance is already there. But uh, yeah, Faker should be all right. Maybe dishing some damage. Let's not overcommit into the Orn. Uh, for what reason? I mean, it's okay, but... Wasn't did I hear that correctly? Uh Kerry used flesh for that. Whatever, okay. We get soul. It doesn't matter. Let's not overforce into this. It doesn't look too sexy. Let's wait till they use their cooldowns and then punish their engage because they have no follow-up afterwards. Unless, well, insane things happen. Oh god, like that spear hitting! Oh no. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's rough. Man, there's no way Nidalee is actually outpoking our cocky comp. Okay, Chovy falls. That's big. Owner also gets a one. Blocks everyone else. Where's Faker? Faker's still alive, right? We need, like, some more AD carries. Owner is balling. Dodges the spears. Can get another E out. Can get another Q, whatever. Ooh, but he has to watch out. Range of uh, pace at this point can be quite tricky, but again, what do we get off this fight? Do we get Baron? Can we secure it against Canyon? If Canyon steals this, it's fucking Jover. Faker here, good movement, good movement. It's the most important thing that they can't steal this. This is so important. Hello, Baron damage, hello! Something. Okay, okay. I'm just sorry, man. Maybe I'm too more anxious than, uh, than usual, but uh, we really need to like get points on the board, right? DK dropping some games here against what was it, Kwangdom Freaks. Uh, very interesting series. Very weird series. Oh no, Faker's dead. Faker is so fucking dead. Oh god. Uh, okay, they can't take anything off this unless they end the. Uh, Carrier, hello? Well, Guma usually can get him back. Maybe that was intended to keep them more occupied so that, like. Ah uh, no, he couldn't get the mid lane inhibitor. Oh no, owner, no, 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 no. What? Bliat. And that's how we lose the game. They get Elder Drake. No. It's not even Soul. Wait, I thought we had Soul already. Did they steal a Drake in, uh, in front of my eyes? Faker's also dead. Oh no, Faker was still dead from the play before. Okay, okay. I'm on the same page now. 5,000 uh, gold lead. 3 to 3 dragons. But their scaling is rough. Um, it's not that our champions like fall off a cliff, but uh, the opposing scaling is just too wild and we have Guma as an AD. Faker, what the fuck was that? And now we have next to no damage. Unless owner can go god mode or something. But he, he's, they are so tanky and they don't do enough damage. I mean, Guma is trying his best, but like, it's just champion diff. It's just hard champion diff. So on one side, Faker Wing in is absolutely... Oh my god, that's my goal, but what the fuck is that? Oh no, no, no. Man, for fuck's sakes. The game was in such a fine spot, but it, it's just the same. No, it's not actually not the same as with the Hunger Life series, right? The Hunger Life series, we just threw that one out of the window. This one is we're just playing outscaled, which is... Yeah, something that we expected to be honest. I mean, they have like some of the biggest hyperscaling AD carries in the game uh, with uh, Zeri 3000 movement speed and Senna 3000 range. And uh, yeah, everyone else, I mean, Canyon doesn't really matter like at all. Uh, the poke is just like an additional layer uh, that helps their comp. And then Keen and Lance uh, just being Omega, uh, Omega tanks. 
uh, and also helping uh, right lands helping with the scaling. I'm not explaining the world new to you, so this defeat is not shocking, but it's just so fucking sad. We were in like we had so many windows with Baron, we had so many things. And uh, like Guma is absolutely playing out of his mind. How the fuck did he get that kill in a one versus three back there while being so like outskilled and not outskilled, outscaled? But uh, yeah, stopwatch for stopwatch. Faker can't even get the clap back. Nah, man. Uh, it's just what? Ah, oh, come on, come on. Yeah. Like you can say good for us, like good for us, right? I mean. I mean, look at Gen.G, right? They they are like 13 and oh, they only w lost one game, I think, at this point. It's crazy. I mean, we look at the roster and we kind of expected them to perform really well. But, uh, well, I guess that's the same thing with many super teams. And then in the end, they kind of crash and burn. Uh, Gen.G so far as the super team is somewhat delivering. Um, but that's about it. That, that is indeed about it. Uh, we just uh, have to hope that you one can... Uh, yeah, continue to improve, right? Facing such a strong opponent like Gen.G and still performing so well, right? 5,000 plus gold lead at some points. Um, could have definitely won that game. And uh, looking back like two we like two weeks ago, we couldn't have said the same thing. Like it would have been a, like a dream to be in a winning position against Gen.G. But uh, yeah, game number one showed that we can do it. Uh, looking at the draft for game number two, I just don't really understand it's it's a pretty arrogant draft it's a we pick champions that do well for us that we like to play that maybe have like some fine matchups uh but as a whole it's i mean it's not that it's an unplayable draft but uh whereas like the gen g draft is like very cohesive right safe lanes scaling um we have like range poke abilities uh and then we have like some like bouncers to protect us uh, on the other side, T1, okay, we have a, like a bot lane that like one wants to go in, the other one wants to chill. Uh, like we have a mid laner that, I mean, obviously you can play aggressive with Azir. Yeah, sure. But uh, Azir kiting back, like playing zo uh, zone control and so on and so on. And then we have a top side that just goes Uga Booga, right? So we have three champions that rush in and then we have two champions that kite back or want to kite back. That can work out, but... Uh, yeah, it can be a, a bit risky. Not risky, but uh, tricky. Tricky, maybe better word. Again, like it can absolutely work out because if you run in, the other ones are left on their own, and Azir and uh, Zaya are certainly champions that you can leave on their own in a team fight, right? Whereas, uh, like the top side plus support, do their uh, do their thing. But uh, yeah, leaving like the point uh, out to the side, like. What about Kennen? I don't know. The like Kennen and uh, Shirvana. What the f Like, am I missing something? Why the fuck are we picking these champions right now? Uh, like, sure, if you get 20 kills, you will win. <laughs> but uh, that's uh, that's the saying for many, many, many champions. If you get Omega Fact, then you can look good. But I don't know what the, what the pros are cooking up with that one. Anyway, this game already looks tricky i mean we get a kill and two kills here unless pace can get a good flash no um but yeah actually like plates now nah, plates is two for two in bot lane or rather three for three uh yeah i mean this is just so doesn't matter man yeah tank by the way winning against the uh, ap carry uh lane bully top laner uh, we all know Kisante Kisante, but I mean, again, this uh, Canon champion, I have no fucking idea why we picked that guy. Especially here against Gen G. sure. Uh, if I go into the enemy team, uh, nice. We take those. Flash for, for that, I don't know, but we take those. We need some confidence. Owner already melting, man. It's 16 minutes in and they're doing so much damage already with like one items. Look at... What? Wait, wait a fucking second. What the hell happened here? I suspect we had a suspicious Rift Herald. But uh, yeah, this top lane is just absolutely insane. This is, yeah, this reminds me of very sad solo queue game. It shouldn't matter, but... Uh, oh, nice. Uh, no, no, owner just sacrificed himself. 
Oh man, so many sad things happening here. Come on, please. Okay, Canyon doesn't get the perfect jump, but should still be okay. Guma doesn't get the E route. Look at top lane, look at mid lane. This game is just a mess. But uh, this game, we can't say, like, I, I, from, from my perspective here, looking at these LCK official highlights, uh, I, I can't even say anything too bad about gameplay. Uh, it's just mostly like, hey, our, our champions are, uh, yeah, just not doing uh, enough. Owner goes in here, gets insect, kinda, tries to go back, Faker with a, fl like, play, gets pace, but will die in the end for this for free, and sure, the hands will fall here as well, not sure, what, what? what? Okay, gets the root, owner is doing, like, something else, like, huh? Now we're getting poked down, which obviously is the counter to our, like, two carries. Actually, kind of three. Well, well, can talk about the uh, cannon versus pokoms for multiple perspectives. Oh, uh, no. And Keen obviously didn't cancel his recall. Flash and still dies. I'm just going to fucking... Can I show this on YouTube? Probably not. So let's just uh, put the scissors down. Yeah. Uh, this game, again... We looked at the draft and then we realized, oh, we are in a bit of a tricky situation. How the fuck are we playing the game past like 25 minutes? And we see our boys are desperate, right? Puma going blast planning over uh, uh, over walls to like look for just a single more of a kill. Faker in the early game, like flashing forward to get a kill on a random support. Um, what has Daryl? A carrier flashing for looking for a hook. It's just, it's like these plays are like not individually like all too terrible, but uh, they're just like in a, in a, Yeah, just like this faker play here, right? Uh, and oh, actually, that was nice timing on the Zonias for for Cannon. And that's like in theory what you think It's like okay, okay, uh, Cannon versus Poke comps is like oh, if he gets a like good TP flank or like if he gets into the backline, yada yada yada. Uh, wow, balance is weakness. Uh, but uh, yeah, then he can one shot the squishy Poke comp. But uh, like bro, they are bouncers, and how do you even get? into an ahead position or do you get, even get such a flank ward if uh, mid lane is losing bot lane is not great uh, top lane you are losing as a like a range champion and well jungle like nidalee nidalee is nidalee right if you know if you have like a player that you really can perform on that champion like canyon uh, the champion just moves up a, a couple tiers then you have at least two three winning lanes and it's just gg so game number one, I think we saw like that we can fight. Game number three is sadly a game where we can't make too many comments. Uh, Genji just played their draft out completely calmly and perfectly. Can't really nitpick here at all. It's like, ah, maybe they could have done this. At least from the highlights we see, they are being chilling, waiting for their moments. And they know at some point we can't just never lose the game. Uh, obviously, that's an exaggeration, right? T1's comp has comeback mechanics. But uh, I don't want to ramble on too long about this. But T1's comp falls off because they can't like get any leads in the early and mid game, so they will naturally be far further behind for a comp that is more reliant on them doing stuff because they have like champions like Cannon, they have champions like the Vi. Whereas sure you would say the similar thing about the Nidalee. Yes, it's a champion that needs gold and resources and needs to get ahead. But hey, this champion is paired up with successful early to mid game lanes. Sure, on paper you wouldn't look at the Corky or Azeri or what is the top lane Exante and it's like oh yeah they're winning lanes but it's based upon them facing up against our champions and as such Denji wins early mid game uh, while also having better scaling and having champions that chill a bit better again also combining with the poke and disengage options they have uh, whereas our composition already has like some uh, all rounder right jack of all trades kind of idea like it's not that we have poke but we have like kite pack peel scaling ideas right here and there and then we have like super aggressive champions that also want to go in ooga booga you can imagine it like a fucking like band or something a rope maybe and you pull on one end right you try to go forward you pull on other end azir azaya kiting backwards and then it ro uh, the rope rips apart and I mean that just creates like space for the enemy team to engage into normally in this case it just means that no no side can perfectly uh, do their job and both sides are being eviscerated it didn't even really get to that uh, pace because Genji is such a quality team that they 
they could, didn't even let us really team fight. I mean, here and there we had like some larger skirmishes, but again, I'm rambling on too much. Uh, I think game number one, again, showed that we can uh, play some good League of Legends that we improved uh, in the last couple of weeks, right? Remember where we were uh, looking kind of rough, losing to Fox, right? X Sandbox, and now we had some good games here and there. And again, game number one was that. Game number two, sadly, we can't, I mean, at least from my perspective, we can't comment too much on this. Uh, yeah, they were kind of desperate, which I hope this is not something that like sticks to the mental. But anyway, uh, yeah, hope you had a great day. We see each other next week with more T1 content, right? Playoffs are coming. And I mean, we're not secured 120%. Uh, maybe we are at this point. I, I, I don't know, man. I was at work. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we, we should be in there. It just depends on if we can clutch maybe some top uh, top spots and uh, avoid some dangerous teams. Yeah, they had that. Anyway. I rambled on, hope you enjoyed, take care, and bye-bye. Um, yeah, well, so I just recorded the Genji video, and uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, you guys know, due to work, I often have to do just highlight stuff, and uh, I miss out on some like context in there. So uh, yeah, after just looking around, right, seeing uh, what other people would like think about the match and uh, getting input, maybe I missed something, right? Uh, I just, I, I just found out like, yeah, like this this faker clip. I mean, I've muted it here, right? Uh, it's from what people say and what it looks like, like faker, like absolutely going wild, beating his head, uh, like against the wall. And I mean, it's just, that uh, just, man, that fucking pains me in my fucking heart, man. Like, I have never met that guy. I don't know him, right? But I've spent fucking nearly a decade now like following him and his stuff and even though i again we don't all know him but it's like he's been inspiration right it's like his story we all know about this stuff like getting back up and all of that stuff right it's like cliche anime naruto one sh bullshit but like if you see it uh, in real life man that this stuff gets to us right and like seeing him right with the wrist injury with like the loss of confidence in here like bro he goes full on ham and like, I don't know, I, I don't want to make stuff deeper as it is, right, already adding this, like, I don't know, is it really worth talking about, is, like, is it making a drama out of nothing, but, uh, like, I don't know, man, like, this, like, self, like, what is that, self-inflicting, self-harm is the English word for that, man, that shit, man, I don't know, I don't want to go too personal to it, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, man, it's, like, much love to Faker, if, like, Korean fans, man, you guys are always at uh, like at the forefront of like sending support to them. Please just keep supporting T1, keep supporting Faker in these tough times, man. That guy, it's just, it's just, it's just horrible, man. It's like obviously like he entered the game away, and like I already called it out during the game. It's like, uh, it's like ha it happens, man. It happens to the best of us. It's like in pre pressure situation, and, and again, it felt like the guys. Uh, today we're de like desperate for like at least a game win, uh, at, especially in uh, like after game two went like further further down the drain like the desperation increased. Like seeing stuff like this after game number one, it feels like uh, it's just it's just fucking sucks, man. It's like we need to support our guys better and better, man. Uh, sure, I, I don't think like this is fa like Faker taking uh, I don't know like haters to heart. He's like he's way beyond that I, th I I think and I hope but uh yeah that's just like his own demons and like he's the demon king man his demons shouldn't sh shouldn't be able to do that so yeah uh it, it's just tough man I, I don't know what else to say in, in case you don't know I just it's like I think this is like as T1 the community we need to see these moments as well right not only the shining moments of brilliance and the laughter right we have to also go through the pain with them uh to support them better and like yeah to be there like at any part of the road right again like many of you guys are also like t1 fans for like a long period of time we went through okay 14 was rough but not that bad then we had like 18 19 then like the drama of like 20 partially 2021 20, and then now with this uh like this roster uh not that much drama, but many heartbreaks with the finals, right? Which is like, I mean, suffering from our success, I guess, to some extent. Uh, right? It's not always, oh, fourth world title, uh, world championship title, let's go. Uh, yeah, it's it's also moments like that. And uh, yeah, 
again we need to keep an eye out on, on that stuff and i don't know we are all so far removed from from like these players and them as a person but uh i don't know i i, I just felt uh that i had to like say something about this and uh yeah again sending much love to faker even though he will never see any of that uh if you're religious if you're anything like that just prayer goes out uh and uh yeah i hope they're all doing better and well again i don't want to end on a negative note Take care of yourselves and uh, take care of your loved ones as well, right? People are suffering uh, and mental stuff. I mean, I don't want to go all where, 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 but okay. take care of yourselves and people that matter to you. And uh, that's a, that's about it. Let's let's leave it at that. We're a fun esports channel, and uh, let's uh, let's try to uh, combat negativity with like some positivity. T1 positivity, that is. So that's about me. I'm shutting up. See you soon.